well hi guys and welcome back so yeah we got the first day of spring coming in on monday i believe <laughs> unless i googled it wrong i mean i feel like that's what google told me so uh either which way it's going to be the first day of spring in my planner and so we're just going to go ahead and take care of the easy stuff first here i'm just using white label paper to cover up some of these sidebar things here uh i am using a hemlock and oak weekly printable um they do have really gorgeous planners i use their daily myself and it's i love the weekly layout it's the size guys i don't think i could have did the size of it so that's why i'm using the printable and okay so we got that taken care of i'm not quite sure of what colors of like the highlighters mild liners i want to use yet so i figure i'm just gonna go ahead and drag out some stickers see what type of color palette we start getting into and then we'll uh, do the functional part so it's kind of nice we get to start with all the stickers first and so it's kind of like we're working backwards so let's see here i'm trying to find anything that has like that rainbowy uh type vibe to it i'm trying to keep that going and okay i'm gonna go ahead and cut this one out as well because i mean it's it's a border box guys i know i'm gonna be using it and it does have that blended rainbow uh color scheme to it so let's go ahead and just cut this out of here because like i said i know i'm gonna be using it <laughs> um okay what what else is in this book which i love those flower stickers i will be back for those and seeing that we got like those little rainbow hearts and that hello spring sticker maybe we could go ahead and start using these because i mean i do have that functional part down below which which i mean okay i kind of figured it wasn't gonna fit it is made for a classic size happy planner but just like what i did with my big we'll just stretch it out and hmm okay that is something i didn't notice whenever i was pulling them out of the book um it seems like they're all like they all have like the blue tinge and then they blend off into the pink um it's gonna look really weird because that little one like blended the whole way through where ooh, ooh, starting to tear a little bit but like this larger one it like spreads farther across the uh the hearts um I can figure out how to incorporate those into the layout like later on uh yeah we are not going to be able to use those as washi um oh oh i missed this one he definitely goes with the group and you know what i think i'm just gonna take that silver border too as well <laughs> those um like i know i made like multiple lists last week which I was joking about it and saying like, oh yeah, I'm going to have list, 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 list. But I mean, those lists actually like really helped me. <laughs> that's sad. That is like really sad that that's what it takes for me to do stuff now. But um, I need list for list. And um, so I think I am going to try to make like, like a week list of like, hey, you need to have this stuff done by Friday so that, you know, you can enjoy the weekend type thing. So let's see here let's see if we could find some washi for this bottom part because i do kind of need that uh before we start going um i'm not finding anything in the mega seasonals so uh, it looks like i gotta go to the washi bin which is a mess <laughs> it's a disaster <laughs> um I know it, like, I wish I had something of that rainbow blend, but I know I don't have anything with that. Um, it's gotta be silver. I don't have anything fun silver. Like, all my fun silver stuff is, like, ginormous. Uh, we really don't need ginormous. Like, maybe, like, the size of a block, block and a half. So, bear with me, guys. I'm uh, digging. <laughs> I found one that has, like, silver stars on it but like i said it's huge and i could cut it but i really don't feel like it <laughs> so i mean i have like a solid silver um like i 
think it will be okay. Like, I'm used to having, like, silver dots and silver stars and, you know, silver stripes. And I, I think this one's going to be okay. I don't think it's going to be too much. And, I mean, we got, like, that rainbow going on. So, I think it's going to, it's not going to look blah. So, let's go ahead and get these scraps on this uh, clear plastic form here. Which, these, I can't actually remember, like, what they call them. But they are sold by the Happy Planner. They're, uh, I don't know, it's kind of like a clear page protector and you use it to put the stickers on so that, you know, you could kind of plan out your layout before you actually stick it to the page. <laughs> but they do come from the Happy Planner, just in case if anybody's seeing this thing and, and you're like, what is this? Because <laughs> everybody was using like wax paper, it was like wax paper, freezer paper, and they finally realized, like, they're missing a part of the market. Um, because, you know, like, we do really like to plan out our layouts before we put them on there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do what I did last week. Because I do have that one rainbow sticker. So, we're going to create, like, a little page border again. And, I mean, just throwing this over around. <laughs> Might as well. I mean, it's a color I never really get to use. I use it a lot in my daily, but it's not really one that I gravitate towards in my weekly. Maybe because I have gold disc. Uh, I'm not quite sure why I avoid silver, but there's just something about silver and springtime colors that, like, I... I don't know. I have to use it. It's like a good four weeks of where I'm like, yeah, let's use the silver. And then it just goes back to the gold. <laughs> but, um, okay. So yeah, this is that sticker I was talking about. So when I get something like this, I cut it diagonally and I know some of you are going, oh, <laughs> but I use it as kind of like a, like a picture frame. Like I create like a frame for, my uh my layout I don't know it just to me it like helps draw the attention into the layout so let's see here we'll put that corner on and then I'm gonna need this one <laughs> I think I did at least like change the corners from last week I think I started on the uh like the left under and I went to the upper right so we switched it up this week <laughs> And, okay, so I needed that one up there because I want to put this Hello Spring. I want to put this, like, right over that. So, because, I mean, we are starting off with, like, the first day of spring on Monday. So, I mean, that's kind of like the vibe of the week there. You know, it's springtime. So, okay, that one's front and center. Oh, I have no idea what to put on that bottom one. Um, <laughs> what? else can I do with this okay so I still have this so what I did is I know I had this on I think it was on Tuesday it was kind of like a must-do list of like hey these are all those things that I normally procrastinate about and let's go ahead and focus on these first so that's kind of like what this list is I put it on Tuesday it doesn't mean that I did this stuff on Tuesday uh, mainly it's the stuff I want to try to have done by Wednesday because, I mean, you're probably like me if you work Monday through Friday. Uh, by the time you roll to Thursday, like, you're fried. <laughs> That's why I call it Friday, you know? <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's not really too much going on on Thursdays and Fridays in my household. Because I'm just trying to survive the work week. But, yeah, like, Monday through Wednesday, I try to get as much done as possible. And then that way I have time to sit here and uh plan with yens on the weekend <laughs> so okay i kind of need like a little box i, I kind of don't want to use these ones like i like these ones but i want to use those for like a spring spring layout like this is like a rainbow spring layout so ooh, we are getting into some of the silver foil which i forgot that we had these in the front of the book so yeah this one's perfect and it helps me draw those other colors in. So let's go ahead and slap this little guy on the page. He uh, covers up some of that like little black line that was left on that border sticker. So let's see there. We got little sticker buddies. <laughs> 
and okay i gotta do something with this really big one and since it's silver and rainbow i'm gonna make this one on thursday and it does kind of need to go into the center since i got the silver foil on the top and the bottom so let's go ahead and put this guy right about here um he is gonna need a buddy too <laughs> I'm not quite sure what buddy I want to give him yet. Or do I? Do I want... See? Okay, I want to put that one sideways. Oh, I don't know, guys. What do I do with this thing? Because it's going to need a box. I am going to cover up uh, the uh, the black notes area. Um, do I flip it? What happens if I flip it? And then I could always give it like a blue buddy underneath. Is it really noticeable that like all the other rainbows are going pink to blue where this one's going to go blink pink or blue blink <laughs> it's going to go blue to pink i don't know <laughs> you'd swear i was uh filming on friday um okay so let's go ahead and give him a little blue body there uh that's right make it bloom hopefully it is actually nice outside next week and I might actually be able to, like, go outside and, like, fix the garden. Um, lately, our weekends have been uh, rainy, cold, and snowy, which sucks. And then during the weekend, we get, like, 60, 70 degree sunny days. <laughs> it's horrible. Um, okay. Let's see here. We got this purple one. Um, normally I would cover them up because of, like, how the silver, uh, goes around the border there, but, you know what, guys, I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it out, and look at how that silver foil sparkles. <laughs> the little bird. I can't wait to see the little birds outside again. I haven't seen them forever. The little birds and the little buds on the trees whenever they're growing. You know, the little baby flowers when they're coming up. And, you know, this is something. I could actually put this in the bottom corner. I mean, it kind of looks dorky because, like, I <laughs> have so much going on on Saturday now. Like, look at this. Um, probably not the best way to balance the page out there. But, um, I don't know, guys. I'm a little desperate. <laughs> kind of gonna need this to work. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I really don't feel like pulling it off the page either. Okay, so I just need two of these. So I the the little bird is a square, so I'm gonna use this flower pot. And how about this little pink flower? Because I think this gives me all of those colors now. I just want to make sure I have a little bit of that rainbow like spread around the page in these little boxes, tinier boxes, smaller boxes. Not quite sure what the word is. Uh, I'm not an English major. <laughs> um, yeah, because I, like, I have a little bit of yellow, but I don't need, like, yellow, yellow. That's like Easter. Um, oh my god, I didn't know that these were in here. Like, look at this. It's officially spring. Like, psh, psh, like, why, why didn't I put that in that bottom corner? Um... Yeah, see, like, I don't have this bright, bright pink. Um. Okay, do we think I could get this off the page, guys? Do we think it's going to happen? And you know what? The more I'm thinking about it, no. No. It'll just rip and tear. I'm going to do damage to that sticker. And, um, you know what? We're just going to let it be. Um, I could use the officially spring summer, or, ex oh, God. <laughs> I could use that sticker in my daily. So... Let's uh, let's just hold on to that. I could have definitely used that purple one too. Oh god, guys! Like, why didn't I flip through these? This I think this is the first time where I didn't flip through the book a hundred times before I picked my stickers. Um. Okay, I was kind of like decorating everything with it, but I think we're rolling with this. <laughs> and I completely forgot about these hearts. I don't know what to do with these. Like, really, I don't know what to do with them. I could use them throughout the week to, like, section stuff off, but I'm not. I don't know. 
<laughs> what happened to this lamp? It just, it just kind of like ran away from me. So, um, let's go ahead and pick those mild liners now. Um, I guess I'm using the passion highlighters. They're not mild liners. So let's see here. I'm going to say rose. Rose is probably the easiest one to pick because that definitely matches the pink in like the bicycle sticker. I know I want a purple, but like none of these purples are really matching for me. So probably what turquoise is probably like those, like the blue boxes. See, I really want this purple guys. I do. I really want this thing. Um, but what, like, I don't know, should I just go with two? But then, no, no, because I have to have purple. I have to have purple for spring. So, what, like this violet? Are we shooting for violet, guys? Because <laughs> plum was, like, a little too bright for me. I feel like this purple's, like, darker. Um... I mean, that's what makes the tail pop. Like, that's why that little tail bird pops in that sticker so much. Because of how deep that purple is. So, um, I'm just making this the first one. This is the first one that's going on the page right there. Bam. Now I'm stuck with it. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and share it now. Uh, if you are new to the Passion Highlighters, or if this is the first time you're seeing them, uh, they have a chisel tip and a felt tip on the other end. Um, I love these things, and if you are interested in them, uh, feel free to use my code SALLY627 at passionplanner.com to receive 10% off your order. So, yeah, guys, like, I'm, I'm actually really digging this. Like, once I got to see them on the page and how it's blending with the stickers, um, I'm really liking how this is coming out. And, you know, I completely forgot to put the day numbers on the page. <laughs> That's the first thing that I normally do. So, I should have probably put these on here before I highlighted it. Uh, some highlights are definitely longer than the others. But, um, yeah. It's a good thing I'm not a perfectionist. Because <laughs> I'd be like, bringing out the white label paper. <laughs> no. So, let's just go ahead and slap these on here. See, like, 23, like the twos. Uh, a little bit into the purple. I got really excited with that purple. Like, definitely when I got it to the second page, I was just like, yeah, let's slap the purple on. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be the 23 and the 26th. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit in the purple. But, yeah, like I said, whatever. I know what day of the week it is, and I know what number it is. <laughs> um, I don't think I have any more March stickers. I think I used them all just like a quick check here and you, that's enough flipping for me here yeah, I'm just gonna write it out so let's see here the color that comes before purple is pink so that's this rose pink here so I'm just gonna write in March <laughs> at least my handwriting has gotten better okay like I could I should probably show you in layouts from like my first year my writing has like greatly improved my speech has not greatly improved i think it's actually gotten worse <laughs> i don't know what's happening <laughs> it's all the fumes from the markers but uh yeah no like my handwriting has definitely improved i never never would have thought that i would have had the guts to write in my planner like that definitely while filming <laughs> i would have had to print it off and stick it in there so, see, working in your planner every week does help your handwriting. <laughs> okay. And I know I said last week, like, I was sticking to two colors. I wasn't doing this alternating three. But, guys, it just looks so bright and cheerful when you do the three. <laughs> I love the effect that it has. Um... Ooh, and just in case if anybody is watching, because I know I was talking about it last week, I did do my dad's taxes. So my whole goals and the values that I used to achieve those goals, that did work. Granted, I procrastinated for two weeks and I felt like a bum for procrastinating, but it was the fact that I was going against my core value of being a reliable person. <laughs> so the Pops' taxes are in and they are submitted. 
and it's all to this sidebar. <laughs> Who would have knew that that would have that much power? So let's see here. I still got to build this bottom part. Um, basically, I'm building the uh, the four task bars that you find in the Passion Planner layout. <laughs> <laughs> like I like the hemlock and oak it's so clean it's so smooth you don't really have to cover up too much with the white label paper other than the sidebar and it's really just because I like my handwriting to match um that's the only reason why but I mean like I do miss those task bars from the passion planner so yes I build those <laughs> And here's that sidebar that you keep hearing me talk about. I guess, like, I, I just keep assuming that you saw the last video. But, yeah, so you start off with, like, your three top goals for the week. And then in the values area, you list down what values you're using to achieve that goal. So, like I said, I had, you know, submit my dad's taxes, you know, for, like, two weeks straight. Of course, I didn't do it. I was procrastinating. And it made me get... Because, I mean, like, you do. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But I was just like, why am I not doing this? Like, I have it written down. Like, why do I keep putting it off? I know it's not that difficult. It's going to take, like, 30 minutes. And it was just like, I looked down and it was like, why am I doing my dad's taxes? And it's because I'm the reliable one. <laughs> well, apparently not, Sal. Because you, uh, you haven't done them for two weeks. <laughs> And that irked me. <laughs> so, yeah. So, those are done. And like I said, it's all because of that goals and values. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and get this into the book. And it's going to drive me absolutely insane. I know it is because it's on gold disc with silver foil. But I'm just going to try to look past that, guys. <laughs> because it is. It's super cute. It's definitely springy, and I think that's going to make next week a little bit brighter. And I just want to close out by saying thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it, and please remember to hit that like and subscribe button to see more Plan With Me's.